For art and design, we follow the AQA GCSE Art, Craft and Design specification, which is a broad and varied course which offers you the chance to explore and develop work in a range of different skills and areas and work to your strengths. To start with, we'll begin by developing your skills in a range of different media and techniques, including drawing, painting, printmaking and wire sculpture. You will then have the freedom to develop your own project from the starting point of culture. You may choose to explore your own culture and historical family roots and traditions, utilising old family traditions, stories and photographs. Or you may choose to explore a culture you find interesting or different from your own culture. Or you could study pop art and pop culture from the 1950s and 60s in the USA and Britain. The choice is yours. Over the past couple of years, we've had pupils study cultures from all around the globe, from British culture to Africa to the Far East. There are no barriers or limits to your learning. If you have an idea and want to explore, or an outcome you want to make, we will help you realise your ideas, order any materials you may need, and make it happen. The course assessment structure is 60% coursework and 40% exam. This is not a written exam, but a practical project set by, set by the exam board. You will have a 10 week period to complete your ideas and development work, and then have a 10 hour exam to complete your final outcome over two days in the art room. This is the same for art offerings, photography, and textiles. If you have any more questions or want to see any current year 11 work, feel free to speak to Mrs. York or Mr. Ainscoe. Thank you. At Key Stage 4, we also offer GCSE Photography. The whole point of this course is to be open and allow you to explore your ideas, interests and creativity. We start by teaching you how to use a camera effectively in developing your Photoshop skills further, supported by trips to Salford Keys in the Northern Quarter in a short architecture project. After this, you'll be free to shape and direct your own learning. You want to develop a project around your local boxing gym or street dance group? Go for it. If you're inspired by fashion photography, feel free to explore this and develop your own project around this area. The choice will be yours. You will need to be motivated to take photographs in your own time, to develop ideas and plan individual photo shoots to specific places and locations to support your ideas. If you have any further questions or would like to see me or look at any current year 11 work, feel free to see Mr. Ainsco at break or lunch. Thank you. Hi, this is Mrs. Gray. I just want to talk to you about the textile course. Unlike the textiles that you do in year seven and eight, you get to learn a more in-depth subject knowledge. You will begin by exploring and experimenting with lots of different types of techniques. This allows you to get to the feel of what you like to do best and where your strengths are. You will also be able to work more independently by tailoring the course to the direction you wish to go. Everybody ends up with a unique and exciting project. It is not all about fashion, it can be any specialist area you like. If you would like to see some examples of final pieces, don't hesitate to pop in to A7 and have a chat. Thank you. If you are considering opting for art, textiles or photography, please take the time to look at our departmental Padlet page. This has been designed to give a complete overview of the art department for pupils and include sections on Key Stage 4 which you may find useful. This will give you much more information on projects, course specifications, exams and deadlines. Type the address on this page into your browser or I'll be putting links onto it on the school website and Microsoft Teams. The short video that follows will show you the site and how to navigate it. Thanks. If you follow the link from the previous page, it will bring us to the Art and Design website page here. If you look here on the left, it gives you an overview of what we do in the art department and what offerings we give at Key Stage 4. If you look at these icons here in the middle, it takes you through what we offer at Key Stage 3 in Art, Textiles and Photography. And if we click on these, it will take us through and show you the projects that you do in Key Stage 3 in Year 7, 8 and 9. 
But as we're picking our options, it's probably better for you to look at these pages here, which shows you our key stage four offerings. Again, it's for art, textiles, and photography. So if I click on the art page here, this page will then tell you what we will actually do during the two years. So you can see we have the projects in year 10, year 11, and also images and galleries to show you options of work that we're doing. It also gives you information on the art exam and deadlines during the course. So I'll just click back here, I'll show you. So this shows you what we'll do in the culture project. If I scroll down, it gives you a bit of an explanation about what you will be doing. And if I come over to the gallery and click here, it shows you some examples of the work that has been previously produced by pupils. I can then scroll back to the right and go back to the home page by following this link here. And scroll down further and we'll have a look at the textiles page. Again, it take, will take you through all the different projects that we actually do during the course. It will give you the same deadlines. It will give you information on the exam. We can also follow this as well, which is a link to the AQA page. On this page, it gives you all the information on the course and also allows you to download the specification. If you have a good look at this website, it will show you all the work that we do and give you a better idea about what the kind of projects, what kind of work you will be producing during your two years. Any more questions, you can also ask Mr. Ainsco, Miss York or Miss Gray. Thanks.